All right, <clears throat> how's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Dave, and this is Blind Man Overland, and this is basically just my corner of the internet where I go to show off some of my stuff and things, I guess. Um, today, one of the things that I, we're going to do right now is we're actually going to uh, repair my 230 walkabout awning. Um, so if you have one of these, or if you have a broken one, and you're just not too sure if you can fix it on your own, I'm going to go with you step by step exactly how to do that. All right, so stay tuned. So it is now good evening. Um, so today what we're going to do though is something a little different. Uh, you might remember a couple YouTube videos ago uh, we went camping. This was the, oh man, which one was it? It might be the the one with the Mission Overland trailer <coughs> on the on the thumbnail. Anyway, uh, you'll remember that we had a big wind uh, gust come down, uh, come down some of the mountains there over at Abraham Lake on my stomping grounds there and uh, took my awning for a ride, gave it a big old flipperoo and she went sailing, so um, my 23-0 walkabout needs some love. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to repair some of the damage that was done to it uh, from the windstorm um, and uh, put it together. That All things being equal here, I just want to say that this thing took a beating. Like it, The wind didn't just take it. The wind took it, unpegged it from a very sturdy pegging, and just flipped it right over the truck. Just took her for a ride, uh, and it did. It, it hit my passenger side mirror so hard that man, it it took the freaking <laughs> took the side mirror right off the side of the truck. So make no mistake, um, <clears throat> this thing is epic, uh, and it's worth the penny you paid for it. And I actually, for the longest time, I had two awnings. So I did start with that cheap eBay awning that you've all looked at. Some of you clicked buy, and some of you didn't. So I got a a year out of it. Um, but it's cheap. It's a, and it, really the material. The material is quite cheap. Um, the 23-0 uh, awnings uh, are not cheap. And they don't feel cheap. And they don't look cheap. And that's why they're going to last you. That's why I'm going to be able to repair this rather than having to go out and buy a new one. Had this been the eBay awning, I'm sure, I guarantee you, had that awning been out. Uh, it was on the truck, but had it been open, oh, man, we would have been, it would have been, it would have been, it would have been toast. It would have been done. I'll give you guys a look at the tools that we're going to be using for this here organization. That's not them. That's for something else, something special. Um, so you're going to want a rivet gun. You're going to want some 3 8 rivets. You want two flat surfaces that you can pinch that metal into uh, to help straighten it out. And a pair of vice grips. Um, if you have those duckbill vice grips, those will work epic for this. If, if, if I had a pair, I'd be working with those, but I don't have one. You're gonna need a drill with a 3 8 drill bit, a couple of snips, and uh, I'm thinking that's all I'm really gonna need because I'm not, I'm not disassembling the the brackets. I'm just taking the whole awning. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna lay it across the workbench here and keep the fabric out of the way so I don't puncture or rip it, and we'll be able to get right into her. So first things first is let's open this puppy up. All right, so now that that's opened up, we can kind of get under here and see what we're looking at. So as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. This is all real mangled up. This whole this whole back end of this piece here is gonna have to get re-riveted mm -hmm. through. So these rivets here, this guy, and there's one up in here too. You can't really see it because it's underneath the shelf, but uh, I'm gonna have to drill these out entirely, re-rivet them back into place against the the backing plate here. So this is that, that plate that sits on the exterior of the awning. And we're gonna have to rivet them back in there and hopefully that'll pull it pull it back straight. Um, and then this thing can get back to working as functional, as normal as possible. Nope. They're not. So 
also want to just be careful that we don't hit the bag or the fabric on the other side. All right, so what I've done here is I've taken a pair of C-clamps, uh, C-clamps with a vice grip handle on them, uh, and I put a flat bar up against the backing of the of the uh, awning mounting bracket. And what that's done is it's it's pulled that bracket and that piece back together. All right, all you insane bipedal hominids. This is what we're looking at here. It's gonna be metal shavings everywhere, but. So that is a lot straighter than it used to be. Now, obviously it's not perfect. I don't know if you can ever get it perfect. Um, but all I essentially did was I took, I guess I had two flat pieces, took my vice grips, and uh, some of this here angle iron. And all I did was just kind of wedge it in there like so and then clamp down on it like with a vice grip and let it sit there for about five ten minutes and that's how she came out so i'd say it's pretty dang good uh you're always going to have some wave in these things because this material is basically tin um so it's very it's a high grade tin i suppose of some sorts so yeah now what we want to do is we want to unfold the rest of the awning because I want to show you guys a really neat and easy hack that you can do on your awnings to make sure what's under here doesn't happen to yours so alright guys so chances are if you have one of these um, straight out awnings rather than like a 180 or a 270 or a 360 or whatever um, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna recognize this so this is where this is the top end of the awning so this is what you roll out and this is what those bars there run into so they run into here and that's what keeps the the top ridge pole of your awning nice and taut however these typically always do this unless you're really easy on equipment um, and you've never had any sort of bad luck with your awning um, they're gonna look like this so I'm gonna show you a really really easy way to both fix this obviously we're just gonna pinch these things back together but fix this and then make sure that this kind of stuff doesn't happen all right, so this is what we got going on here. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've just taken a chunk of metal. It can be any metal, metal, aluminum, steel. It could probably even be wood if you want to make this like a temporary thing. But what you do is you just take that piece of metal, make sure it's as the same, roughly the same height as the, the metal that you're going up against. Then drill a hole the same diameter as your awning pin. Slide that in there, make sure they line up nicely. All right, so you can see there that lines up fairly well. And then what we're going to do is run a, uh, clamp that down with the vice grips, run a drill through it, then run a rivet in it. And that's going to be super, 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 super strong, way stronger than this crappy little aluminum. And that'll last you the test of time, I'm sure of it. Now, as you can see, you've got a nice little lock with this guy. This guy's going to cinch this down right proper. It's not, it's not really going to go anywhere. And now you've got that much more material to grab and to hold that pin, which is this pin right here. So this slides in through there and locks into place when your awning's deployed. So much stronger, much, much more material there. So <clears throat> hopefully, and I'm sure, I'm sure of it, we'll look back on this in, a, in maybe a year or two and see how this is doing, but yeah, that'll do you. And then just do that on that side, and then you're golden. All right, guys, so definitely not as pretty as the other side, but as you can see, I've added the thicker piece of metal back there. I ran a couple rivets in it. it didn't have any of the small rivets. So <clears throat> not as pretty on this side, but 
that's her. So now it's time to wrap this thing up and uh, head back. All right, so this is it all closed up. As you can see, that gap has gotten significantly less, still a little bit underneath, but it's a lot, uh, a lot better than it was and it looks fairly straight, so yeah, there you go. That's how you fix one of these 230 walkabouts. Well, anything except for the canvas that is, because canvas you just you repair it with canvas tape or whatever you got. But yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Time to throw that guy back on uh, whatever I'm gonna put it on. So yeah, uh, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. It's New Year's, so you know if you like this stuff, you know if you like these kinds of videos, you know smash that like button. Give me a Give me uh, an idea that you guys dig this kind of stuff, and I'll keep putting it out for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming to my to my little corner here where everything, I guess, Dave-related, I put. Yeah, maybe it's time to go home. I'm going to go home. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.